How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Rogue Soul 2. I've been slowly working through the old Soul Game Studios games and this is the one of the last ones that I have. I still have to do Swords and Souls after this one. I'm going to do that one as a big live stream, so stay tuned for that. I'll be planning it as an event ahead of time. I'll announce it in the Soul Games Discord, all sorts of stuff like that, so you guys can come check it out. I'll play for like three hours. I'm sick of carrying this old coot. Come on, the boss is waiting. So this, I'm guessing, leads right off of where Rogue Soul 1 left off. It looks like it's a very, very similar game. I'm guessing that they just expanded it in as many different ways as they could. Thank you, young hero. Easy, Grandpa. I'm here for the loot. Whoa, 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 whoa. See ya, bro. <laughs> bro. He isn't, doesn't like being called a bro. I wonder if he'll ever come back, if somehow that old man ties into this story at all. <laughs> I actually wasn't that good at the original game. It was quite challenging, and I'm expecting this one to build on it quite significantly. So it's going to be the same as the original game, where it's uh, running, then you can also do some slides, and when you have daggers, you'll be able to throw those. I don't have them right now. Almost like an infinite runner, but it does have levels and stuff. Let's just skip the tutorial and go straight on to level one. Oh, well, there's several grandpas to rescue. I'm going to, I guess, attempt that every single time. Extra conditions, beat eight enemies, bounce eight times on mushrooms, and beat three enemies while sliding. So I'll have to slide kick into them. Kind of kind of managed to get that guy from down below. New data, so I think it uh, collects the different enemy types and stuff like that. Got another quick slide kick. Try I'm trying to get the mushrooms and, and kill the guys and all that. Kind of have to sacrifice collecting all the loot in order to get that. It's a different setting from the original game, and I think already that having the old man rescuing is a new thing to the series. It's kind of peculiar to refer to it as a series, because it's only the two two rogue soul games, but then there's like the much larger rogue universe that are quite unrelated. There, I got I already got the defeat enemies. Oh, I'm gonna miss the I'm not gonna be able to get back to get that one. But I, I'm just missing the mushroom one. There, now I got that. But I screwed up and I didn't get to rescue every old man. I'm not going to 100% this level. Nice chaining together of mushrooms. Classic eagle dive into the bushes. So close to having having the max best possible. Perfect is probably don't get hit. Yep, yeah, yeah, and I did get hit just the once. Crap. So close to gaining all that extra loot. So now I can spend that on shops and skins. Ooh, I can stomp things now, so introducing new mechanics, that's always cool. Very expensive to have armor. Agility, increase your speed. Well, let's see how what, what kind of difference that'll make. The skins probably also cost money, or do you just unlock them? Oh, cool, you can pay stars for them. <laughs> Throwing a Apples were a part of the other game, I think. I, I don't remember if you could throw apples, or they, they were in the game somehow. Well, I'll get a cool, different-looking sword just for fun, and sure, let's unlock a different skin. I like this method of unlocking skins more than in the original one. It was much more difficult. Like, here I feel like I get rewarded much more quickly, which I like. So I almost feel like they simplified the outer world of the game and then have done some work to complicate, like, complicate in a good way, the actual running aspect of the game. So I think that was probably smart because the the part of the game that took place outside of of the running was a little bit weak and clunky and difficult to actually progress in. Oh boy, crap, I didn't get to see what my objectives were, so maybe I'll just luck out into doing them. I clicked the wrong button, got a long distance kill there, so I'll, I'll take it. Oh shit, I was scared of that arrow. Nice, managed to get him. Ah, I couldn't quite get the, the golden stuff that was there. Oh shit, getting up to that old man was really difficult. Can I do a stomp for a quick kill? That's not what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of stomp people for, for extra killing powers. That's kind of fun to mess around with. Perform four stomps. I did still manage to get one of the objectives then. And come crashing through the window. I think a lot of these art assets are lifted directly from the original game. Like, this t city that I'm running through is pretty much identical to Rogue Soul 1. I think 
exactly identical. I guess they should have been throwing more projectiles around. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with them reusing assets and stuff. I think there's uh, a thing with sequels in old Flash games. It's like you should be redoing 100% of the art every time. But no, keep what worked and then, and then polish up some of it. Oh, I can double jump down. That'll be handy. What are some of the other upgrades I can take? So I had agility now, which is useful when I, you have to backtrack a little. Dodge, you have a chance to dodge attacks. I think that's totally new to the game. Uh, projectiles throw faster, extra ammunition. Piercing, it might pass through. Prospect, increased total solons earned at the end. Luck, increased chance to find items. And gliding, increased glide duration. What's some of the black market stuff going to be? It's very expensive, so I'm not going to be able to afford much of that. What the hell? 100,000 you can unlock an arena? Like an entirely different game mode you can unlock? That's pretty crazy. I unlock new attacks as well? I don't really know exactly... I, I think that's just like an aesthetic thing. I think it just would look fun to beat up enemies in different ways. I'm gonna go for the speed again, I think. The rest of this is kind of like nice to have, but not totally necessary. Maybe I should take the prospect next time. Mm, I don't think I care about having that goofy bandit. I'll throw apples at people though, that could be funny, and then maybe I'll unlock something else more interesting. Offer a flower to a soulette, which gives you an extra life or something like that. Reach a five times combo and pick up a gold cup. So there's my flower. Now I just gotta find the soulette to give it to. Oh, I'm missing the big chest. I guess I should have taken the upper path there. Kind of immediately forgot about having the double jump. There we go. Oh, temporary invincibility. That's nice to have. Got the five times combo very quickly and easily. <laughs> Collecting my apples to throw at people. Ooh, I should try and kill this guy just for shits and gigs. Ooh, ooh, quick. I'm liking having this extra speed. Got the gold cup. Keep trying to hit down instead of uh, instead of Z for the slide attack. There, I keep screwing that up. But you got to reserve down for the stomping. I'm uncertain if they improved the feel and like speed of the game or anything like that, or if I was just re oh, I didn't quite make it back. Or if I was just really slow and clunky at the game before, and so it feels like it's changed a lot. I was trying to be cool and dive down and throw an apple at him, but he got me. Level failed. Hey, you still get your loot for it, though. Yeah, I don't remember the game getting this complicated this quickly before, and it's not, like, so complicated that you can't manage it or anything like that. It just, like, throws a lot at you, mixes it up. That was really stupid. That was a really stupid death. I was kind of running around trying to explore, because there is some randomization to how the levels are laid out. Like, this level is always going to introduce the double jump, it's always going to start with the flower, and then beyond that, there's like very specific guidelines that it follows. Like, remember my first attempt at this level, there was a really high thing you could go up to right away, then the clothesline with the chest, that's not there this time, so... Like, we're seeing the same buildings and combinations of things, just not in the same exact order. So there is some more variety added that way. Um, it's, I'm just not gonna mess with him. Let's just go with the quick distance attack there. Now we claimed our chest. Oh, we're gonna miss her. Oh, yeah, just barely. So this time you got the magnet instead of the invincibility to collect collect loot more easily. So it's not always gonna get you the same thing. Oh, there we go. That was a little tricky. I couldn't quite figure out how to grab that at first. Is the magnet gonna last the entire round? That makes that super awesome to have. Ooh, careful now. <laughs> I was playing risky there again. Oh, I didn't realize... Double Solons, nice. I didn't realize before that I uh, was going to have to re-attempt the, the different win conditions, like the different stars things, like g earning different combos and all that. So I wasn't keeping those in mind this time around. I think I managed to achieve them all still, because I gave the flower, had the combo, and got the gold cup. Ah, oh, but I missed one of the one of the grandpas. Pretty good damn payout though, and I got my first perfect. So that feels good. First perfect, still haven't like hundred percented or whatever though. And now we got the glide added as well. I think the prospect. Oh, it only adds ten percent. It's not even that good. And then I'll go with the agility then, because I like having that. Beat five enemies from behind. I've done that a few times on accident. Four mages and glide for a total of six seconds. So the gliding is pretty straightforward. 
Maybe I'll just glide every opportunity I have to, uh, to try and earn that one particular achievement there. Although, at the same time, you want to make sure, oh, damn it, I almost got that magic lamp. I can't believe I didn't. It looked like I went straight through it. But you want to, uh, you want to make sure you're not wasting your glide for when you actually need it. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Why can't, why aren't you grabbing that properly? Oh, crap. Shit. <laughs> Something went kind of screwy there and I think I got some extra jumps out of it. Oh god, I feel like I'm moving too fast or the game is moving extra fast now. I kind of am like panicking to keep up with it here. The game got really speedy. Oh, come on. Oh, right in my brain. I kind of ran right into that one. Shit. I think the rate at which this sequel gets uh, panicky and difficult is a lot sooner than it was in the original one. And honest, I, I think I could be doing better at the game. Uh, it's part of just the the YouTuber curse of having to try and narrate what you're doing while you're doing it. That makes it a little a little bit harder to manage when you're new to a game and none of it is second nature like reflexes, and you're just trying to actually operate while simultaneously playing the game. See there, I'm, I'm learning a little bit. I'm doing significantly better than I was the last attempt here. But at the same time, I think the game is difficult right now, but it's definitely not unmanageable. That's just me being a little bit crappy at it. Ah, oh, nice. Whew. I really, really wanted to make sure I got <laughs> that armor shit. Oh, come on! Was my finger in the wrong place? I might have hit A instead of Z. Shh, shit. Fuck, that one was going so well. well I don't even want to try and, like, chain together any of the, the special extra star things this time. This time I just want to complete the level. Oh, I just barely managed to snag that. Whoa, I came falling out of nowhere. I was just lucky that I landed on that guy, I think. Ooh, I managed to get the from behind kills. Holy shit, when did I pick up a flower? Glad to have that, though. Get a nice double-fied magic lamp. Oh, yeah, get the big chest with the double shit as well. Perfect. Whew, am I going to finish this level on the ground? That's kind of weird. That's not usually... Oh, man. Do we have a boss battle or just a cutscene? I guess you're the black captain? Obviously. Dude, you enslave grandpa? So what? Nothing. You didn't actually care that much. Oh, I don't know if boss battles are new to the series or if I am just terrible at the game and missed it previously. Whoa, shit, fuck, I wasn't ready for him to be that fast. Well, shit, I hope if I lose this I don't have to do this battle all over again. Oh, the level all over again, I mean. Yeah, continue, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Oh, thank goodness. Because I was just not ready. Ah, oh, I don't have any projectiles now. Although there's a chance that the projectiles were never going to work in this battle. He might be, like, immune to that. Now I know to dodge that. Oh, do you know what? That's totally why this level introduced the uh, attack from behind thing. I think you have to attack this guy from behind. Oh, quit that. Quit dodge rolling away from me. Shit, maybe I have to stomp him. I'm trying to get the stomps in, but I'm not quite getting it. There we go, finally. I wouldn't doubt that he mixes up his attack pattern a little bit here. Once more, just once more. He might do that twice this time. And come on, stomp him. Oh, I stomped just on the wrong side of him by just the tiniest bit there. Ooh, barely got him. Shit, the sweaty palms there trying to pull that off. Cool. So if there weren't bosses in the other one, that's just... Ah, oh, he will kick your insolent butt. He? The engineer. Catchy name. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Ooh, look at all the loot. So much loot. That's all I care about. I'm not trying to save grandpas or anything. I'm just in it for the loot. Ah, oh, one soul on shy of having a leet, leet amount there, or leet amount earned at the very end, at the very least. Now it's all totally thrown off, but for that fragment of a second there, it was 1336. I gotta look up if there was bosses in that original game, and if I just threw in the towel way too soon. Yeah, I, I'm gonna upgrade the armor. I'm getting hit a little bit too often. Chance to dodge attacks would be useful as well. Maybe I should have saved up for one of these things, but I haven't fallen to a pit yet. 
Ooh, cool new skin. I'll take I'll take the knight. Ah, and and a cool new rogue type character. Let's use the rogue looking character. He's neat. The magic lamp got added there. We got the mage, and so there's probably like three bosses here. This would be the black captain, something, and the engineer probably all saved for there. I've already killed 34 of these bandits. I'm really hammering on them. This black suited captain looks quite impressive, but don't worry, the guy doesn't even know two techniques. I mean, it looked like he knew two. He could do his his like ground quake thing and his quick dash. Total progress 18% so far, and I've heard this game like ramps up like crazy, like. I got one of the gold helmets. Ooh, scared of the big heavy axe wielding guys. I'm gonna go for the upper clothesline here. Get me, get me some of them sweet gold helmets. Ooh, slid in just in time. That was cool. Made me feel like a real badass. Really chaining together the attacks there, going for the big combos. Ooh, risk the pit for the helmet. Oh, <laughs> I just barely survived that. I'm feeling a lot more confident. All of a sudden, I'm really chaining things together. It won't take much for me to suddenly uh, screw up royally and just completely die, but for now, I'm going to enjoy this newfound talent that seems to be coming together quite nicely. Oh, I think one of the, one of the missions was get the... Whatever it was, the chest from up top there. Shit, I couldn't quite get it. And I don't- I lost track of what was going on for a minute there. I feel like I had a series of luck where I maybe should have died once or twice. That's where the game's getting real, out of control. Nice, managed to snag the flower. I'll keep an eye out for a solette. Oh, we made it to the end. I sound disappointed to have made it to the end, but I was trying to- Try to accomplish a couple more things before that came to such an abrupt end. Managed to get all three grandpas, that's not bad. The chest at the top of the windmill, that's the one I was trying to get at. Don't hurt anyone was one of the missions? I didn't even see that. That would be so hard. There was a million different things there. How the hell would I not hurt anyone? Wall run, that's new. Try out some challenges and earn more stars. Okay, cool. That, that's like a totally new mechanic that's original to this. Uh, this rogue soul too. So let's try a couple challenges and then kind of wrap it up. I'm not going to try and do the whole thing because this game is very large. I've been at it for almost like, what, 25 minutes and I'm 20% done in the game? I'm probably not going to do the whole thing. So let's try the collector challenge. Collect all Solon coins on your way. So it's just about gathering as much loot. Is there going to- oh and it's- the Solons are set up in a compl completely different way. It's not even just uh, having the piles of them. I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm going for the 100% here, I'm gonna use my agility and reflexes and everything that I have available to me. I wonder if I get to use my extra speed that I've upgraded. It feels like I'm moving at my max speed, so I would think so. It, it, definitely, because I also have um, my two times armor. Nice! Oh shit, you get a lot of Solons for that. Oh, and you unlock, unlock the next tier of it, hey? Oh, and then there's Endless Collector. Oh man, alright, well let's try a different one. Beat an entire enemy's camp, none shall stand. But it's still gonna be done in like this runner format. I just, so I, I'm gonna have to be careful. Well, I immediately missed uh, the second thing there, so that didn't go entirely too great. Oh, fucking archers, I knew that would be an issue. Uh, and you can't attack while you're recovering, so that didn't work out. Does it count as zero? Did I do nothing there? It is just a restart then. You do have to complete the level for it to, to count. Oh, it's got that handy counter in the corner for me, so I can see, I can keep track of how I'm losing. Oh, someone just kill me, because I, I, uh, I screwed up pretty royally. Nice, you can double slide and get both in there. I should be making better use of the slide attack, because the slide attack is actually really strong. Especially when you can slide in two things at once like that. Ooh, tripped him from right below. Okay, that one wasn't that hard actually. I just uh, played it like a moron a few times in a row there. Big, big boost of Solons there. This is a good way to unlock those uh, those bonus things, like the black market. Let's you attack while recovering. That would be really useful to me because it just I have struggled with that before. Let's see the acrobat perform crazy tricks and collect feathers. So what kind of crazy tricks would that be? Like all the best I can do is just like jump around, right? Is it raiding the my different tricks at all? Shit. <laughs> I don't think it's raiding the tricks. I think it's just get the feathers via doing cool tricks. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back. Yeah, I missed it already. Crap. Uh, okay, 0 for 2. Not great. I'm thinking I'm just going to take myself out on these spikes. Damn me and having too much recovery. Also, keep in mind that the Swords and Souls 2 is uh, being worked on and coming out later this year over on Steam. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to check out their old games, because I wanted to see how they built up to that final, like, full console release, that rather than just having these simple browser games. And there's some really, there's some cool threads throughout the games they developed, where you can see they have a lot of things in common, like, uh, they start introducing things like star systems and rewards and unlockables and then extra challenges and achievements to work towards and everything and all these layered ways that give the game more overall playtime and replayability and seeing how well they've really seemed to have grasped those concepts it makes me really really excited for their new game to see how they've pulled it all together. I so see you only unlock the next one when you three tier it. Hit as many targets as you can. Am I going to have to collect projectiles and then use them? Oh, it gives me a bunch right off the bat, so that's good. Oh, come on, hitting these is tough. There's a little bit of a delay before he he actually throws it, right? So I click it and it takes him a minute. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> so getting the timing of that is quite tough. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's, that's the secret is just get right up close to it so you don't have to... You don't actually have to time anything. <laughs> That's the only way I was able to get those, is by getting as close as possible. Ooh, the Marksman one is fun. I like that. That's probably one of the more difficult ones. Just because it kind of builds on the existing mechanics in a way that you probably wouldn't have practiced just by playing the game normally. Oh, come on, come on. There, we got him. I like how each time you collect the apples, you got to run by these different stands. Uh, get it, get it. Oh, I missed one of them. Not gonna get the max. <laughs> Force that one by doing the point blank. I missed one there. I'm only gonna two star that. Damn it. What kind of what kind of stuff can I spend money on here? Like I could do such a big boost to my guy right now, right? So extra ammunition, better dodge chance, a little bit of dexterity. I uh, do the piercing even. I'll, I'll unlock a cool new headbutt move. Turn myself into a Zidane. I can unlock a cool new, a cool new guy. Several cool new guys. The gentleman. He's totally from uh, a different one of the Soul games. And you can get the maxed out gold one, which is cool. That's super funny that the gentleman made his way into the game here. This guy looks hardcore as hell. He's a scary son of a bitch. Let's take scary guy out for for a run. And then, uh, let's see, beat 25 enemies, beat one of every enemy type so far, and stay above the ground for 20 seconds. Ooh, oh yeah, we can test out the wall running mechanic, I almost forgot about that. That's, uh, I'm too much of a noob to chain that into the game properly. Oh shit, this guy actually has shields to defend himself from that. Oh shit, you gotta be really careful where you stand because the thing's crumbling away there. Glide, glide. Ooh, there was uh, oh, the windmill helping me out there. Shit. I really thought that I was going to do the stay above ground more effectively there. But then I got forced down just barely. I almost made it. Nice, nice slide tackles there. My beautiful death machine. Let me do a quick back kick there and then fetch her the magnet. <laughs> nice combo kill you got there. Wall run. Oh, that wasn't... I think I could have wall ran on that, but I ended up on top of it. Yeah, oh shit. Oh, doing the wall run to help you get that extra elevation is so fun and so cool. Good thing that didn't do the piercing <laughs> that I uh, recently added, because otherwise I would have uh, would have hit my darling there. I'm sure the game's set up that you can't actually hit her with it. Sweet wall run grab combo. Oh, I still didn't get the treasure up top though. If I got that treasure, got the flowers, and just stomped the hell out of everything. How about that? Well, that level made me feel like the ultimate badass. That was super fun to rip through. <laughs> I didn't. Oh man, I didn't get either of those two. I thought I got at least beat one of every enemy so far. I wonder which one I missed and all that. Goddamn.
that was a super crazy fun level. I is this all that the map is gonna be? I don't know if it's gonna extend beyond this. I get the impression that it carries on outside of here and you move on to like the next area or something. Especially if there's two more bosses to fill in. But look at that, I'm, I'm a third of the way through the game, I've been playing for half an hour, and the game's only getting more challenging, and then there's all of this that you can still do, and like, there's just so much to be done here, I'm very excited about how this series is built up, and I'm so excited for Swords and Souls 2. Stay tuned guys, I will announce when I'm going to do the Swords and Souls 1 live stream. Uh, probably sometime this week is what I'm hoping, I can't guarantee that for sure, but that's what I'm working towards. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.